Welcome back savages to another video. In this video we're going to be unboxing the Aware Element Indoor Air Quality Monitor. This particular air quality monitor can monitor the temperature, it can do the humidity, the CO2 levels, total VOCs which is volatile organic compound and lastly particulate matter. So it gives you a reading of all these five elements on the front screen of the actual unit. So without further ado let's go ahead and unbox it. So when you open the box, it's a nice looking box, well packaged. So the first thing you'll find is um, a quick start guide for the element. So you've got that inside, tells you what the LEDs and all the different functions are of this unit. Then you've got the actual unit itself. Nice build quality, good rounded corners on it as well. It's got a plastic build. It's got a little hole on the front for doing a lot of the readings. This is where you're going to get the LED readout on the front here and if we turn it over on the back that's where you plug in the charger it's a USB-C connector what you've got here is a button where you can slide through the different readings and displays on the front of the unit and I'll demonstrate that shortly but yeah there you go not much to it but a, but a nice solid build let's go and have a look and see what else is in the box So you've got the uh, USB cable, so it's a standard USB to USB-C, just there, if you can see. And then this is the plug adapter, so you get a, a two-pin Euro-style adapter. Um, Three-pin UK one, and that's just the body of the adapter. And normally that would just slide into that. And then you've got the USB part just on the top of here, plug it in. And that's about it, nothing much more to it. So let's go ahead and set this up. So once you've got the unit plugged into the USB and connected up, you just need to download the um, app from the Play Store or the iOS um, App Store. And the one you wouldn't be looking for is this one called, I don't know if you can see it there, it's called Aware Home Breathe. Go ahead and install that. So once you've installed the app, and paired it with the device you'll get a readout on the front which looks something like this when you install it so at the moment it's telling me the overall rating for my device is 74 which is fair and it gives you an idea so what you should see on the screen is a number of LEDs the more LEDs you've got the more of a, an issue you've got so the lower the number of LEDs the better so if we look at the temperature that's what it's giving me at the moment which is green humidity 42 corresponds to that LED. CO2 levels are quite high, corresponds to there. You've got chemicals, which is fair, corresponds with the fourth LED. And then you've got the PM 2.5, which corresponds to that last LED there. And then it gives you an overall figure, which you can see appears on here as well. So you don't have to have the phone connected at any time. That's just purely for the original setup of the device. After that, you can just switch this off and you can just have this on display anywhere and you can see at any time what your temperatures are. Now that button I mentioned on the back of it, if you um, press the down button, you can see the time on the clock. If you toggle it again, it tells you the PM2 reading if you want to keep that on the screen. Next we've got the chemicals, CO2, humidity, and then temperature as well. And then that goes back to the original screen which you where you've got everything on it and then you can just leave it on time as well if you want to use it as a clock but that's it simple as that nice and easy not much bother to set up and probably one of the easier air quality monitoring devices to set up so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and see how much power this consumes okay so we've got the unit all set up and it's actually running so in real time this is how much power usage you would get from this device so hooked up to a power monitor and it's only using 1.2 to 1.6 watts of power, which is incredible. It's absolutely nothing. And if we toggle to amps, 0 0.011 to 13 amps as well, which is incredible. 
So literally you can plug this up and it's just like leaving your mobile phone on charge. So anyway, there you go, Savages. I just wanted to give you a quick unboxing video of the Aware Element um, air quality sensor and just how much power it consumes. So I hope you like this video. Please subscribe, like, and I'll see you Savages on the next one.